Greetings. I am going to demonstrate some tips and tricks to use in PowerPoint 2010. The first tip and trick I want to talk to you about is workspace. Notice my workspace. This is typically where you build your slides. But an important feature is the preview, where you can actually preview your slides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a rather large image that um, typically would fill your total screen. And it's pretty large. All right. So when I look here, you're like, wow, it's huge. And notice you don't even see the little yellow flowers on my preview. I'm going to go ahead and zoom, um, zoom out so I can see exactly what I'm dealing with. Right now, I'm at a 10% view. Um, so it's just how close I am to the actual slide. But at least at this point, I can start sizing it to where I want it. Um, and always pay attention over here to what's happening. OK. Once I've got it sized, I can zoom back in. And I can take a look at the image. Now, I really want, I really like this space right here um, to possibly be to write text or a title. So I'm going to adjust this image a little bit more. Always looking here. There, I think that's pretty good. All right, I think I have the image about where I want it. Um, but now I want to grab the uh, I want to I want to cite the source. So citing the source, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the URL. The URL, very bright blue. Um, I want to go ahead and I want to remove the hyperlink from that, and that will just take it so it's not clickable. And I also want to put in here image source. All right. However, I don't want the image source being right here because it's right in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to drag it down to the lower left hand side of my uh, of my window here. And I might want to decrease the size a little bit too. But the problem is, is I can't hardly see it because it's it's really dark against this dark background. So I'm going to adjust this just a little bit so that I can see what I'm dealing with here. Oops, I'm moving that, and I don't want to move that. All right, so right now I have it, but as you can tell, it really kind of bleeds into the background here. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. And it's very hard to see because I want it to be clear enough so that if people are interested in where I got my image, they can see exactly where. So there's a couple things that you can do. You can mess around with the text a little bit more. Or you can mess around with the text box background. And to do that, I just click on the text box, I right click, and I go Format Shape. Then I have a, a fill bar that comes up. I usually like the solid fill. And because this is a black background, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select back, black. But it's still very obvious And um, when I look at the picture up here. So what I want to do is I want to make it a little transparent. I still think I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit. There is a, is a trick to it. You just got to work with it. I go back and I'm going to try adjusting the transparency because I think it's a little too transparent. There, that looks pretty good. All right, so what we've done so far is 
I've copied and pasted the text or the URL. I've removed the um, hyperlink. I've adjusted the color of the text, and I've also adjusted the color of the background of the text box. Oops. So again, just to cite so sources so that the audience afterwards can go ahead and see where you grabbed your images. But it doesn't really um, distract you from the main um, image here, or the main slide. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to add a title. And I'm going to do that by going insert, uh, and I'm going to insert a text box. Once I click text box, I, text box, I get a little arrow that I can go ahead and cur, uh, create a box. And I'm just going to name this, how did you do this? Okay. So right now, of course, it's too small. So I'm going to go ahead and increase, increase this. And I might want to adjust the, the actual font to something that's a little more bold. I might want to decrease that just a hair. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, but one of the things to note is when you don't have these really um, bolded fonts, sometimes it can kind of blend in with the background here. Um, and you want to make sure that your title pops um, so that you focus on the image, but you also focus on what is being stated. So there's a couple of tools that I need to show you. First of all, when you click on it, um, click on the text, you notice up here it turned orange. So if I go into the format, I can do a couple of things. On the left hand side are things that I can do to the text box. On the right hand side, are things that I can do to the text. Okay, So if I wanted to highlight my text and for instance if I want to give it a glow, okay that's really ugly but again you can see it's a uh, it glows purple now. You can also select what's here or you can give it your own custom glow. Um, I'm not too key on this, but you know, again, just showing you what the capabilities are. I'm going to go shut the glow off. You can also give it a drop shadow. Um, you probably won't be able to see this um, within this video, but it is something, it, it's a subtle thing to text that makes it really quite um, nice and it's really refreshing. But again, it's up to you what you want to do. Another fun one is the reflection. So you can get just a subtle reflection. Um, I don't know if this is the appropriate place for it, but again, just showing you some things. So really pay attention to, you know, what happens with that text. I'm getting rid of the, I don't like the reflection at all. There's also bevels and 3D rotations, and then you can also do some fun things, you know, um, with the, uh, transforming the file or transforming the text. I don't like any of them. I'm boring. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to shut off my reflection. Um, and again, this is really kind of hard to see, so I might do this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click, instead of clicking on the text, I'm going to actually click on this very side. And notice it goes from like a ha uh, dotted line to a solid line. That tells me I can now look at um, at the text box itself. And I usually like to right click and format the shape to start picking my colors. Maybe this time it would be appropriate to have, because I have the dark text, to have a white background. And again, mess with the um, mess with the transparency. So it really pops, but is yet still subtle, you know. Another thing that you could possibly do is just change the size of the text box. I'm going to go ahead and there. Um, 
And what I'm doing is, again, looking at different ways to use this text box. It's something subtle, yet something, um, I think it looks pretty nice, actually. And I'm paying attention up here. There. Um, it's totally up to you. So you can do things with the text box or you can do things with text. Again, you always want to think, what does this look like to my audience? Um, is it something you know that they'll find valuable? Um, so just a couple of trip tips and tricks for you.